Hey, hey, and uh, welcome after the break in another fascinating video. And he, today we are going to talk how the pill is destroying your gut. Very, very important video. And it will be backed by the science. So after every single claim I'm going to make, I'm going to give you actually to medical research to check. So you can verify by yourself, you know, I'm always uh, encouraging everyone to fact check things. Don't just believe me, just go there and fact check. So the number one of the reasons how the pill is destroying your gut is that um, it disable uh, estrogen metabolizing metabolize zinc in your gut. Uh, hormonal birth control affects uh, our microbiome and it can alter the body ability to metabolize estrogen. What's going on with me? I can't spell the things. If you can't metabolize estrogen, it literally builds up. And every single girl knows that too high estrogen means endometriosis. Endometriosis is hormonal related illness. So that's very important. And the good bacteria contraception pills got the tendency to demolish and uh, reduce the good bacteria in your gut and you have bacteria in your gut that actually helps you to clear excess estrogen and those bacteria are called estrobolum estrobolum if these good bacteria are not around which happens when you are on the pill for a long time estrogen is not metabolized as it should and you might think, and if the uh, estrogen is not metabolized, estrogen is going to build up. And you might think, but Yola, the doctor prescribed me uh, the pill and this progesterone pill. That has nothing to do with uh, anything because it can be progesterone pill, but pill still destroys the good bacteria in your gut. And this is the point I'm trying to make here. If the bacteria go down, if the good bacteria go down, the bacteria that helps us to clear the extras, uh, excess estrogen, then there is no way to metabolize, you know, this excess estrogen. And uh, another thing is experiencing recurrent yeast infection. So if you got one infection after another, after another, uh, you have to know that they are very common for women who are using the birth control. And since the yeast infection can be a result of an imbalanced gut microbiome, this evidence indirectly points to the effect that the birth control can have uh, on the health of your gut. And currently, we can't make any definite claims regarding the causation between the hormonal uh, birth control. And I'm saying this for the re legal reason, because the big pharma is very powerful pharma. <laughs> but there is evidence, there is definitely an evidence that shows a link between hormonal birth control use and negative shifts in your gut bacteria. And this is the science behind it okay so you can screenshot it or you can write it down just google the impact of oral contraception of uh, vulvo vaginal uh, candidis and you can see this research on national library of medicine pubmed okay and another thing birth control increased the inflammation and that's the shocker because we all and the girls want to get out of inflammation quickly because where is inflammation there is the endometriosis growth like endo is uh, inflammatory illness you know so the gut inflammation can lead to host of gut related health uh, issues like the leaky gut change in the bowel habits or even irritable bowel disease or irritable bowel syndrome if you are genetically uh, predisposed ibs and SIBO are also related to the gut inflammation and a lot of girls who have these disorders been on the pill for a very long period of time so if you've got a uh, gut related problems, double check, are you on the pill? And, you know, if you have a gut um, uh, related problems, it will be difficult to heal using anti-inflammatory diet. And why? 
because the even the best food means absolutely nothing if you can't digest them. And I think we all can agree to that. And this is the science proof behind it. The National Library of Medicine, PubMed, uh, published the research that is called the risk of oral contraceptive in etiology of inflammatory bowel disease, a meta-analysis analysis that actually uh, confirms that, that there is a link. The mighty pill can destroy also your digestion. The pill is nothing else but the concentration of synthetic hormones that was designed to fool your body into thinking you are already pregnant. This is the essence of the pill. Your body thinks you are pregnant. That's why your symptoms goes away a little bit. And that's why you don't have a period because your body thinks that you are pregnant. But if the synthetic hormones uh, cannot be metabolized and if they're building up, then the pill is not the cure for endometriosis and the pill can actually be very damaging. So this is the science proof. Uh, another one, oral uh, contraceptive and the risk of gallbladder disease, a comprehensive uh, safely study. Another one published by National L Library of Medicine. So go and check it out. Another thing that the mighty pill is doing with you and you don't even know maybe. <laughs> the pill makes it difficult to absorb nutrients. And this is not good news when you're trying anti-inflammatory diet and you are on the pill because uh, all the concept of the diet is to provide you with good things so your body can actually take them and heal quicker. But how are you going to do that if you can't absorb the good things? Hmm? Hormonal birth control has been shown to deplete the body of the key ingredients such as zinc, B vitamins, magnesium, selenium, and vitamin C. And from my own experience, I know that I used to lack all of them. And zinc and selenium are very important for our gut health because they uh, enhance the gut lining, which is zinc, and improve the gut function, which is selenium. Your gut will suffer if you don't have them. And if you are on the pill, it's very likely that you might not have them. And this is science proof behind it. Again, National Library of Medicine, oral contraceptive and the changes in nutritional requirements. So please have it in check. And the bottom lies, my lovelies, <laughs> the doctors not going to tell you all of this when they prescribe to the pill. So many doctors just giving the pills like candies uh, and treating it as some kind of miracle when in fact, which science just prove and which medical research just prove, they can be very damaging for the girls with endometriosis. And if you are on the pill, I want you to know that there's absolutely no judgment behind it, okay? I used to be on the pill myself for many years and I didn't know any better. Plus, sometimes we need the mental break from this illness and this is crucial. So if you just need a mental break, like a few months of peace, quiet and, you know, no uh, major drama related with endometriosis, then by all means, be on pill. But my aim of making this video was to show you the things that doctor is not going to tell you when he prescribes you this pill. Okay. So be your own advocate, educate yourself and always ask questions. Okay. Uh, talk with your doctor, tell him, you even screenshot and write down all this research and tell your doctor, but I show, I saw the research that actually proves this and that. Can you comment on this, you know, be your own advocate because the truth is no one is going to save you. We have to save ourselves girls. Okay. I hope this video was helpful and I'm very happy to see you after uh, my break that I took for uh, my uh, health and to reclaim back. I'm going to tell you why and, but it's not endometriosis related. Absolutely not. Love you so much and I'm going to see you in another video in another week. Bye.